Welcome back to my channel and another beer review. Great Divide Brewing out of Denver, Colorado. It's Colette. It's a farmhouse ale. A farmhouse and a Saison ale are the same thing. They originated in the French-speaking part of Belgium. They were given the farm workers at the end of the day as a reward for their work. Here's the can. This is what it looks like. There's no more detail on the can, but there's a short story here on the website. Colette is our homage to the saisons that Belgian farm workers have enjoyed for centuries. Brewed with barley, wheat, and rice and fermented at high temperatures with a special blend of four different yeast strains, Colette is fruity and slightly tart with a dry finish that makes it the rarest of treats, a beer as refreshing as it is complex. I don't know when this beer actually came out, but just some quick research. I found it's at least about 10 years old, but it's probably older than that. According to their website, this is available all year round. It cost me $1.69 for the can. They don't really tell what the ingredients are. They say barley, wheat, and rice. From the barley malt, that's probably Pilsner. The wheat malt uh, would give wheat flavor and a little bit of sweetness. Rice generally just is for more fermentables. When they say ferment at high temperatures, what I think they mean is 80s or 90s Fahrenheit. No clue what the hops are, they don't even give a hint on that. Being it's American version, it could be anything. Probably low alpha acids though. I think some of this some fruity characteristics to it. They're saying here that this is fruity and slightly tart. Fruity is accurate, that's a nice bonus that not all of them have. Tart, I actually usually don't get that. It does surprise me that they use four different yeast strains. I've seriously never seen that. Body style for this should be light or medium. It's 7.3% alcohol. I have no no idea what the IBUs are. They're going to be very low because farmhouse ales are not a hoppy beer. Saisons are usually blonde color. They could be clear or cloudy. The common characteristics with them is going to be peppery and spicy, sometimes fruity and floral. The bulk of the flavors come from the yeast. Secondary flavors come from the malt and the hops. Orangish or golden yellow color, just depends on the light really. Extremely cloudy, it looks like a blizzard in there, except you wouldn't want to say blizzard all yellow. The cloudiness is caused from low flocculating yeast and hasn't been filtered or anything else really, no kettle findings added to it. Paper thin head, it had a little bit more, maybe an eighth of an inch or so, and it's died down to nothing. Beautiful appearance though, see that color and the haziness is normal. Noticeable fruit, pineapple, citrus, maybe some lemon in there, possibly grapefruit. All light skinned, light colored fruits though. I don't get any spicy or peppery out of the nosy at this point. None of those aromas are punch in the face, but they're noticeable. Now they're saying fruity and slightly tart. Sometimes saisons are tart, sometimes they're not. Eighty percent on the roof of my mouth. A little bit is danced around my tongue. Pineapple, lemony, citrusy, just those gentle tropical and citrus flavors. Very gentle and they brush back and forth a handful of times and then they just fade away. This is light body, maybe edging towards medium. Very light pepper and spice from the yeast. It's actually more fruit forward. Very light, gentle sweetness with it. Some of that light sweetness can also come from the wheat malt. I think it's a combination of that and the yeast. Definitely citrus, light tanginess. Not hoppy at all, no hop bite or bitterness whatsoever. They say it's slightly tart. I don't get that. Or the dry finish. Now, cracker, bread, grain, biscuit from the, the malt, I don't get any of that. I don't get any malty out of this or any candy flavors. Every time I sip it, I just get hit again with those pineapple, 
citrusy, a little bit tropical mixed in there. Usually the pepper and spice is more of a punch. Those really take the back seat. Besides the citrusy there's, and sweetness, there's really nothing else there. If you didn't tell me it's a Saison, I wouldn't guess it. It's not thin and watery. It's a simple recipe and that doesn't surprise me. A Saison should have pepper and spice primarily and the fruity floral if it has that is a nice bonus very little to no spice or pepper characteristics so it's like they went the opposite direction coats on top 80 90 percent just like it out of the glass pineapple that lemon that tropical fruit sweeps back and forth over and over and slowly evaporates. There are residual uh, fruit flavors, but they're not very strong and they don't last too long. I don't get any pepper and spice at all out of the can. Medium body. Still not hoppy at all, no bitterness. Every sip more and more tropical fruit just hangs around my mouth, plays around. Still light and sweet. Uh, no candy flavors, no malty flavors. I still don't get any tart out of it. It's just all about that fruit. It's simple, it's not complex. Between the can and the glass, I can't tell the difference. They really taste the same. No off flavors from this. No diacetyl, there's no metallic. No chemical astringency, DMS, cardboard, paper. This beer has not been compromised in any way. Would I buy this again? I actually would. I like it. I don't think it fits a profile of a Saison, but it does have a good fruity flavor. Would I recommend it? If you like lighter, fruitier beers, then I think you would like it. But keep in mind, in my opinion, this does not taste like a Saison. I am disappointed in the fact that they call it a farmhouse saison when there's no pepper and spice. There's a certain flavor profile I look for in a farmhouse, and this just doesn't have that. Capturing the style, it's below average, but flavor-wise, it's at least average. If I didn't know what it was, I'd say it's just a fruity beer. Unfortunately, it just doesn't really taste like a farmhouse nail, though. Great Divide Brewing, Denver, Colorado, Colette, Farmhouse Saison Ale. Comments, feedback, suggestions, thoughts, credit card numbers, whatever. Send them my way, like trade them, talk to the beer drinkers. That's all for this. Cheers. Okay, so what, what, what the hell's the question? Now let's start over. That sounds like shit. A Belgian. Uh, fuck. Wish I had a bottle of this. I can Really, okay, now that doesn't make any sense. Ugh, fruit in there. Oh, I love it. That's an interesting way to word it.